What's up, everybody? My name is Blaze Tiger here to talk to you about the 76 Grand Cross maintenance and what type of content I'll be dropping on this channel. Uh, so, before we get into the maintenance, uh, the content that I'll be dropping on this channel will obviously be gotcha games such as Grand Cross, uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Legends, and their other gotchas that I play but nothing I feel that are you know it's worthy enough to actually uh, make a video of um, I will do gotcha game reviews and if there is a gotcha game you guys would like me to do I don't know summoning videos about or talk about just hit me up in the comments and let me know uh, so besides the gotcha games I will also be dropping anime and manga reviews because you know I, well, you guys don't know. I'm all about anime and manga. So if you're into anime and manga, check me out when I drop them. Besides that, at a later date, once I get my setup all together, I will be doing uh, video game streams on my Xbox. So besides that, let's get into the maintenance notes. Or... The little maintenance notes that we have and the other information that i have for you guys here today uh so the 7 6 maintenance will be starting at 6 p.m pacific daylight uh, time ending at 8 30 p.m pacific daylight time then with the maintenance we will be getting final boss merlin i uh not a jp player so this will be my first time playing against final boss merlin but i did do my research on her and you know just like every other final boss merlin once you get that i'm sorry just like every other final boss once you you know play play them get a feel for them you come up with your own teams and what works best for you guys so i will be doing a summoning video and a final boss video uh it's just see if i can tackle it so besides the final boss Merlin, there will be a pickup draw event with two new heroes. Uh, as I'm recording this, some information came out. Uh, apparently a leak showing that Gallant, Red Gallant was going to be the second unit on the banner. I was hoping for Red Derriere. Red Derriere, well Derriere period, is one of my favorite sins. I'm sorry, not sins, commandments. Uh, I know it wouldn't have been her, you know, just wishful thinking. She would have been way too early. I mean, there are other units that have to come out, you know, before her, such as, you know, Monspeed, uh, probably Gloxinia. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Um, so besides that, there's the summer event. We'll go over that in just a moment. Then the all famous Diamond Bogo buy one, get one free event. In my opinion, I think the buy one get one free event is golden you know i wish other gotcha games incorporated that such as you know like dokkan you know dokkan has the buy one get one on special events like the five year that's coming up i'm pretty sure one of their pack is going to be a buy one get one if i remember correctly they had one for their fourth year anniversary if i remember it correctly if i'm not just let me know um but like I know it won't happen, but you know, a brother can you know, brother can dream. So like for each event that they have the diamond sales, their thirty two ninety nine pack, which would be the ninety one stone pack, they can have a four buy and the first buy is buy ninety one stones, get ninety one stones free, and then the other three buys will be just the normal thirty two ninety nine, get one ninety nine ninety one stone pack. You know, well, you know, just putting that out there, it, it won't be bad in my opinion. It wouldn't be bad. Uh, so besides that, the burning hatred pickup event will be leaving, and I believe that is the um, Marlescular, Marlescular, Marlescular. I'm pretty sure I'm just botched that name. Uh, banner. The global drop for spin tickets, that will be ending. You will still be able to use the tickets until 7.10, but you will not be able to earn any spin tickets after the maintenance on 7.6. So for those who were waiting to the last minute to use all the tickets at once to spin on the, the spin to get the, uh, the free stuff like the medals, you got to 7.10 to use it. 
and that'll be it for the maintenance notes so far so now on to the summer event from day one through five we will be getting the getting some weapon tickets and uh, the units that will be getting these web that you can select using the tickets will be one we got Deanne and that's her weapon right here attack 180 crit chance 1% crit damage 6% then we have King his where is it okay there's attack 180 crit chance 1% crit damage 6% then you got the Ellie Hawk right here attack 180 pierce rate 3% crit chance 1% I don't have any weapon for her like uh you are weapons for her so i might be picking this one up might then you have bond right here 180 crit chance one percent crit damage six percent you know i think i just got a ur gear for him you are weapon for him i think it was this one from the pvp shop not too long ago so i'm not entirely sure if i might get one for him then you have Gother, where is it? There it is, 180, pierce rate 3%, crit chance 1%. Then you have Gila here, attack 180, crit chance 1%, crit damage 6%. I just picked up her, um, her skin here, this one right here. So I got this one, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll get anything for her. Merlin which is one of my favorite units or favorite characters in Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, I only, only cosmetics that I have for her will be the Dark Knight one. I didn't really care for the uh, Red Sailor uniform, the Dark Knight uniform. I thought it was better. So I have this one. Uh, her swimsuit one will be here. That's attack 180, crit chance 1%, crit damage 6%. Might get that uh, for her. Plus, with the Merlin final boss Merlin event, there's another cosmetic skin for her, which looks really cool. So I'm, you know, might get some stuff for her. Next, we have Green Meliodas right here. Might get his, because you know, it looks like a surfboard. So you know, that's cool. Uh, attack 180, Pierce rate three percent, crit chance one percent. Then I know for a fact I will be getting one here for. I can't believe I'm drawing a blank for her name. Jericho. There you go. <laughs> Jericho. When the game was brand new, Jericho is another one of my uh, favorite characters in the uh, show. Uh, I got this one here back when the game was still relatively new. Now, didn't know too much about stats and who should have what at the time. So I was using, where is it? I was using this weapon that came with the skin and I was playing it on PVP. Always wondering why was it that I have this cosmetics for her, but the crits are just, the crit chances are just bad. Like I buffed her up with crit chances, you know, with her gear and stuff. And then I got the weapon and I'm like, man, she is rarely critting. So then when I looked at the weapon, I was like, oh, okay. I see. So I most likely might get one for her. Plus, I mean, look at that. That that looks dumb cool. Look at that. So she has attack 180, crit chance 1%, crit damage 6%. And since then, I have buffed her up a little bit better. Well, not a little bit, a lot more better. So I most likely might get her weapon there. And moving on, Hauser, attack 180. A crit chance 1%, crit damage 6%. I just got his knight uniform. So I might not get a, a gear for uh, his weapons for him. I'm not sure yet. I, you know, once the ticket comes on, I'll look at everything. I'll decide on who I want to use it for. Uh, Guild Thunder. Never really use Guild Thunder. So since I never really use them most likely might not get a weapon for him uh it's attack 180 crit chance one percent crit damage six percent and lastly i believe i don't think i missed anybody if i did let me know um grimoire 
another character I never really used, but I mean, it's a shovel. That's kind of funny. So if anything, I might just get it just for a laugh. Uh, attack 180, crit chance 1%, crit damage 6%. Uh, so, you know, let me know which, what you guys are going to pick, which ones you believe are more worth it. And uh, we'll, I'll see which ones that I think I need to get. All right. So moving on with the summer check-in. Day 6 through 7, some stones there. 8 through 12, day 8 through 12, cosmetics for the tavern. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if these are free, like the 100-day celebration uh, cosmetics for the banner. I'm sorry, for the um, cos for the tavern. Uh, it would be cool if it is. But if not, you know, for those who would like to buy it, who love making their tavern look good, you got some new cosmetics there. Uh, day 13 through 14, some more stones. So for the total for the summer check-in, we'll be getting 30 stones. Uh, so far, you know, everything looks good. Everything looks good. Uh, I will be doing a video for, as I stated, I will be doing a video for the Red Escanor Summon. Hopefully, I get as lucky with this banner as I did with, uh, with the Green Escanor banner. Because, I mean, I popped out green Eskinors religiously like it, they were just coming and i six six them immediately it, it was crazy so hopefully i pull at least five copies or well no six copies uh i would like to at least five six him or at least six well six six them will be the ideal thing right but if not at least five six him uh and then get the last copy in the coin shop when he comes out on the coin shop i don't really care too much for red gallon that's a unit that i will get in the coin shop at a later date when i feel like i need to get them you know just to have them but as of right now the main focus is red Escanor. he is a beast i have checked him out and i like what i see but then again it is Escanor. Any type of Escanor would be great. I mean, for them to make any type of Escanor in the game and him, you know, he's a trash unit, that would just be crazy. So that's all I have for this one, guys. Look out for the summoning video and the final boss Merlin video. And I will be doing a, a video for the five-year anniversary of Dokkan. Check that one out. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day.